Hello everyone, my name is Fasu, joined together here with my partner Kaylee. Today we're going to be presenting on the current issues surrounding Coco. Originating from the Theorama cacao tree in West Africa, South America, and certain parts of Asia, Coco has a profound cultural significance due to the many products that we receive from it. Currently, it is cultivated by an impressive 40 to 50 million cacao farmers across more than 50 countries. So, what exactly is cocoa? Cocoa is a chocolate powder derived from roasted and ground cacao seeds. These seeds, once dried and fermented, yield both cocoa solids and cocoa butter. As the primary ingredient in chocolate being the main product, cocoa plays a role in shaping the flavor and texture of various chocolate-based products, ranging from ice cream to hot chocolate powder and cake. Cocoa farming is a very tedious and long-term process. The crop requires specific conditions including intense heat and rainforest-like environments. The select environments to grow cocoa crops make the cocoa plant vulnerable to a forecast 3.8 degrees Fahrenheit increase in average temperatures in the crucial regions, Ghana and the Ivory Coast in West Africa. With only 10.5% of current growing locations expected to remain suitable, the future of cocoa farming faces significant challenges. Moving on to the versatility of cocoa. It's not just a delightful tree for our taste buds. Cocoa is the cornerstone of chocolate products, offering a rich source of polyphenols and flavonols with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. These properties contribute to reducing inflammation, lowering blood pressure, and improving cholesterol and blood sugar levels. However, it's crucial to note that processing cocoa into chocolate or other products can potentially diminish these health benefits. So, what's happening? Three main issues are causing the current problems facing cocoa and the project as a whole. The average temperature increase we mentioned earlier poses a significant threat to cocoa farming. This temperature rise can lead to the escape of liquid from the soil and plants resulting in poor quality crops. There is also child labor, low wages, and postmodern colonization within the cocoa industry. As we savor the goodness of chocolate, we must also acknowledge the bitter realities faced by the cocoa industry. Issues such as child slavery, low-paid labor, and soil erosion plague the industry. Furthermore, there is a stark reality of modern colonialism, where European companies often have complex relationship with African plantations, raising concerns about ethical practices and sustainability. As we conclude our journey through the world of cocoa, it's essential to consider solutions to the problem at hand. One common solution is to advocate for a switch to chocolate companies that prioritize ethical practices. One brand that does this is called Tony's Chocoloni. They advertise themselves as 100% exploitation free. Additionally, supporting regulations against child labor and cocoa farming can make a significant impact. By raising awareness about the environmental and social challenges within the industry, we can collectively contribute to a more sustainable and ethical future for cocoa production. Thank you for listening.